Any ideas, Professor? You, you could have just handed me a piece of a UFO from Area 51. What's the next step? With him, it's always Sophie. What's the next step? Puzzles. Codes. A treasure hunt. To find his killer. Maybe there is something about this priory of Cyan. I hope not. Any priory story ends in bloodshed. They were butchered by the church. It all started over a thousand years ago when a French king conquered the holy city of Jerusalem. This crusade, one of the most massive sweeping in history, was actually orchestrated by a secret brotherhood, the Priory of Sion, and their military arm, the Knights Templar. But the Templars were created to protect the Holy Land. That was a cover to hide their true goal, according to this myth. Supposedly, the invasion was to find an artifact lost since the time of Christ. An artifact, it was said, the church would kill to possess. Did they find it, this buried treasure? Put it this way. One day, the Templars simply stopped searching. They quit the Holy Land and traveled directly to Rome. Whether they blackmailed the papacy or the church bought their silence, no one knows, but it is a fact the papacy declared these Priory Knights, these Knights Templar, of limitless power. By the 1300s, the Templars had grown too powerful, too threatening. So the Vatican issued secret orders to be opened simultaneously all across Europe. The Pope had declared the Knights Templar Satan worshippers, and said God had charged him with cleansing the earth of these heretics. The plan went off like clockwork. The Templars were all but exterminated. The date was October 13th, 1307, a Friday. Friday the 13th. The Pope sent troops to claim the Priory's treasure, but they found nothing. The few surviving knights of the Priory had vanished, and the search for their sacred artifact began again. What artifact? I've never heard about any of this. Yes, you have. Almost everyone on Earth has. You just know it as the Holy Grail. Please, Sonia thought you knew the location of the Holy Grail? Maybe more than that. This cross and the flower, this, this could be very old. But look, this, this metal here underneath is much newer, and there's a modern ID stamp, Haxo 24. And these dots, these dots are read by a laser. This is more than a pendant. This is a key your grandfather left you. He left us, Professor. And 24 Axo. It's not an ID stamp. It's a street address. 